Gentlemen, I am forced to say that the state has presented a very strong case. And it has presented that case in a thoroughly skillful manner. True, each element in the state's case is based wholly and completely on circumstantial evidence. Here we go. But it is also true that we have been unable affirmatively to refute such evidence except through the testimony of the defendant himself. And this has not been enough. I suppose I should take this opportunity to attack the state's case in some slashing display of rhetoric, to cloud the real issues with some sort of legalistic double talk. However, the district attorney has left little room for this, and I have too much respect for the intelligence of you gentlemen to expect success from such tactics. But I should like you to consider, if you will, the defendant himself. What manner of human being are we judging here today? A member of one of the great professions, he now stands before this court even as the most humble supplicant. And what he asks from you is only this, compassion. He's a man whose very vocation demanded a dedication far beyond that required of the ordinary man. Perhaps he gave too much, shutting out that which should have been most important to him, family, friends, and even humanity. And then suddenly he was thrust out of the only life he knew, unable then to do the very work which for him made any life meaningful. He was exiled to a world he hated. Hated only because it was strange to him. And because, because memories of mountaintops blinded him to the beauties of the valley. He had such an abundance of hate that he built a wall of it, a wall so high that no man could extend a hand over it in friendship. He's not talking about Kimball. He never was. He has no one now. His wife, a lonely woman, taken from this earth in a pointless and insane moment of violence. And though the woman was dead, the man still selfishly scratched at his own wounds until he was marked by scars that cut deep into his very soul. This then is the man you are asked to judge. I commend him. Gentlemen of the jury, it is now my duty to instruct you in the law applicable to this case. Boy, you shook your time. Where is he? Well, he's not in the courtroom, but I got an idea. Come on. Yeah. You should remember that the district attorney must have done more than establish the defendant's guilt by a preponderance of evidence. He must have done so beyond a reasonable doubt. On the other hand, the mere fact that the district attorney's case is based primarily on circumstantial evidence should not cause you to minimize such evidence or to give it less weight than you would direct or eyewitness testimony. Sorry, can't leave the courtroom. You may in your discretion, and if you find against the defendant, 
Include in your verdict a recommendation with respect to the sentence. Hey, buddy, would you do me a favor? My girl's in the back over there in front of the cop, and her sorority would really get a kick out of it uh, if they could see her on television. You understand? Kids say they got about a dozen sets all over the campus, but there's three of them right here in this building. But it shall Let's go. weigh heavily in my determination. Uh, the bailiff will now escort you gentlemen to the place where you will commence your deliberation. Thanks. Do you have any questions with respect to the facts presented in evidence or the applicable law? Please notify him and the available information will be sent in to you. Laser's office was still warm. The secretary claimed she was using. Take the door. Johnson and Carver, let's get out of here. Look, if he was around here, which I doubt, he's had plenty of time to get away. Now, I'm not going to take a dozen men off their job just because you've got some hunch. And the next time you get one of your great ideas, call somebody else, huh? I understand he started out as a crosswalk guard. I'll bet he was good at it. Come on, let's go. Gentlemen, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Didn't take long. Will the defendant rise and face the jury? What is that verdict? We find the defendant not guilty. 